So I finally understand what the series called Haunted Parenting as a word play on the series slash franchise that it's inspired from. Clever. How's it going people? Jack here with another video. So I have been highly requested to check out the second chapter of, well, <laughs> Haunted Parenting. This one is called If Vampires Had a Tortured Wrestling Match. I guess Alpha is a fan of wrestling. Not too much for me. I, I guess I remember some wrestlers from the 90s and like early 2000s. You have the likes of uh, Macho Man, Randy Savage or The Undertaker. Uh, <laughs> those were some of my favorite just because of the flair that they had. You know, they, they were actual <laughs> that Scottish dad. Or is he Scottish or Irish? The, the whole meme of the dad who uh, doesn't want to admit to his uh, daughter that uh, there are gay people in their country. Um, do you think that you're going to get invited to any gay Catherine, weddings? Catherine, there's no gays in Ireland. What? You're confused again. You got the misconceptions inside in that chip-like brain you have. <laughs> it's like, it's a singing man. He's flamboyant. Catherine, he's not gay. That's, that's what it felt to me like because as... Like, then being a f wrestling fan, everybody was kind of mocking you that wrestling's fake, but... You don't say. We knew it was fake, it was the entertainment, it didn't matter. But anyways, I have been looking forward to a continuation on this, so let us not tarry and jump straight into the episode. I just have to remember that some of the names are slightly derivative from the original one. Dawn was Dor, Magnus was Marcus. They have a big house. <laughs> oh. Don't make me say it. What in the Sam Hill is wrong with you? <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh, the boyest of boys. Please, I beg you, let us begin. What war crimes are on the docket tonight? Mustard gas. Uh, mustard comes in gas? Why don't you open up a can and look inside, you little fucking wreck? <laughs> oh. Careful! Not ruin my son's first interrogation blank. Oi. Oi. I know I'm not the only one here. Don't yeah. know the names. That has what? Yeah? Interview with the vampire. You make this joke every time. It is a clever and funny reference. <laughs> They are. So, uh, many, many were kind to point out that this is inspired by the Masquerade. Not necessarily Vampire the Masquerade bloodlines, but the Masquerade as a whole. It's a whole book series, play, and everything. And I went and downloaded Vampire the Masquerade bloodline uh, because I do have a code, but apparently games from 2004 are not admissible anymore. And also, I don't have a CD reader. <laughs> Gosh, do any PC still have CD readers? Anyways, uh, I downloaded it, but it takes like an, an entire patch and like a complicated process to get running because PCs nowadays are way too advanced to run them anymore. It's kind of a, a sad thing, like for retro games that are not optimized to continue on for the future. Me? No. You, you fuckers! You don't know what it's like! Oh, here we go. You wretched, pissy fuckers will never know what it's like! You go out of the sun and buy cream crackers, your weed apex, and your fucking cream crackers! You finish college and shit in a crap little toilet and play snake on your phone! Gotta admit, bruv, not uh, very relatable. Fuck you, toilet shitter! Your mundanity is something we will never have again! We are persecuted by your refusal to yield to your letters! And when we deny our nature's king's own principles of universal ability are shattered! Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess fitting with the message there. So, f I don't know where this m vampire mythology came from, but I guess Cain is supposed to have been the first vampire since he was cursed to walk the earth. But, like, I, I guess he was employed to be a whole thing. There's actually a movie called, like, He Never Died, inspired from it. It's, it's really weird. Like, I, d I don't understand what a guy has angel wings, or supposedly have angel wings cut out. It's strange. I'm sorry, Kane's what? Get up! Anyway, the point is we cannot eat cream crackers anymore. 
not speak of cream crackers as some halcyon dream. Boy is on an all meat diet and has never been stronger. I well fitting. The meat sweats. Not now, son. Uh, I'm speaking to the monsters. Monster? Oh. <laughs> I'll show you a fucking monster. You are pathetic. Blank bodies are parasites. You kill people and oh. you eat them. To allow you to persist is to abet genocide. Abet genocide? Wow. You are genociding us right now! Your life has already ended, Tick. I can't kill a corpse. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, fellas. Wouldn't this guy make such a good ventru? Ah, uh, gender do not live. We unlive. Ooh, we do not do things all day. We do things all night. Ah, uh, ooh, we do not X, we vampire word. Oh, hold on. What is a venture? Oh. Whoopsie. Here now we go. We've platformed the antediluvian concept of class. Oh, good job! Good job! Ah, Introduce us to the entire thing. The clans in the masquerade can burn, along with all the other Camarilla Anarch bullshit. Camarilla Ooh. Anarch? The masquerade? Uh, come. Camarilla. Boy, oh boy. Okay, I can't be the only one who thinks this, but uh, whether we're talking about Camarilla from the original Castlevania. The one from the Netflix show. Uh, actually, the one from The Masquerade. I've seen covers, actually, of her. So we can take the black, white, uh, red-headed version of her. Yet still, she's hot. I think that Camarilla is like one of those characters who uh, inspired all the girls to... Uh, like the punk girls. To drop the uh, tight pants and high boots for dresses. The, just so that they can enter cosplay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think like her aesthetic is like has a lot of resemblance to the ones I always see. Miller, the first vampire. Oh my god, Jordan! Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Are you afraid of a little masquerade breach? Well, take the prince's pussy out of your mouth and start acting like canines. God oh, damn yeah. it! These fuckers, you fuckers, wouldn't even be alive if we took over. And we could. Peter, uh, we don't got the resources yet to you make drinking it. You drinking cami piss lick? We're the goddamn Sabbat, the oh. Sword of Cain. And Ape, what does the Sword of Cain do? It falls where it pleases. Amen. Camarilla Anarch Sabbat. Noted, noted, noted. Camarilla is spelt like gorilla, right? <laughs> yeah, a double L. Okay, these are essentially political parties, I assume. The first one's free, sweet pea. What are you gonna give me for the rest? We already know about Camilla, the first vampire. I always suspected she lived in Norwich. <laughs> first vampire? No you quite. You mean the prince? She is a sterling example of degeneracy. She and her posse sitting in their ivory tower in Norwich, forcing canines to stay hidden. They call it the masquerade. I call it censorship. Preventing murder is censorship now. <laughs> Prevent murder. <laughs> as if they could. No, as if they would. The Camarilla's all about murder. Murder kind. Murder kindred. Kind? Are you dense? You people. Kai means you guys. Humans. Of course. Mortals. You know, animals. And while you're wasting time with us, the camis are playing you like good little puppets. And then comes the superiority complex. <laughs> I've only played like an hour of uh, uh, Vampire the Masquerade. That's the whole thing of the hierarchy. Like, you're not supposed to sire anybody unless you've consulted with the masquerade beforehand. Uh, so, I, I guess they are only supposed to feed on them. They can't turn them. <laughs> Come again. That's just a common tactic of theirs. See, I said not allowed to. But believe in liberty and revolution. For vampires. Canites. That's right. But the Camarilla... They believe in slavery and serfdom for our kind. And what about our kind? Your nope. kind are just livestock. That's it. <laughs> That's just the way of things. 
No matter what you do, mortals are just meat. Ouch. The only way out is the embrace. So, if you want liberty, well, we can give it to you. Well, excuse me. So, you're saying you will exchange freedom for freedom? It's either us or them. We are the children of Cain, and our manifest destiny is to rule. Praise the Dark Father. Intriguing. So, so why haven't you been murdered yet? Because the Sabbat doesn't fuck around. We're on a war path, and our cause? To see you lowly, juicy apes serve your natural purpose. But of course. So you're just here to kill. No, you fucking snail rats, you're wrong as hell. Oh, so now you grow a pair of shit beard. We don't just kill, we're smarter than that. I went to college, son. That why you were hanging out in that tunnel, murdering joggers in the dead of night? What major is that again? Political science. Science? Yes. Conquered that tunnel. Purged it off Anok Filth. It's our turf now. This whole district. This district. The district of North <laughs> North. It is the new theater for the glorious crusade. Hey, domain to bleed. Wait, is he laughing? Right. As we please. Hey, boy, your brain's a drain pot. Plug it. The Anarch Barony ain't moved an inch since we were chased in here by the Kamis. Our bases still need building up. Oh, yeah, man. Really selling us right now with the base building. Fuck you, Pewter. The categorical imperative compels me to tell you the whole truth about that why... That is not a novice philosopher. Fuck you, ape boy. One must act this in accordance with that maxim that through which you can will that it become a universal law. Oh, so, not to disrupt the discourse, but... You're at war with this anarchy barony over... The district of North, <laughs> North, North Norfolk. Norfolk. On the small scale, that and Great Yarmouth. Oh, I fucking oh, yeah. hate you. <laughs> it's pretty sad. <laughs> but I'll tell you this much. The Anarchs... Coming ground. They have the spirit. They have their ideals. But, but they lack purpose. They restrain themselves just as... Uh. The Camarilla. Builder, he's doing it again. They yeah. refuse to unleash their beast. They want uh, their petty revolution, but for what? Yeah. To continue hiding? Uh, uh, Proud canite, dost thou hear the call? Purge your degenerate humanity and the turning into a beast. As your forefathers do. Okay, dude, turn down the larping. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I have so much more You're to say. You're barely in a sabbat ape. You haven't even partaken in the Voldery. I... So stop angling for pack priest and stay in your fucking lane. It is very embarrassing. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Weak things. I'm the strongest here, I'm a bridge. Hey, speaking of, where is Kevin, the wizard? I doubt that. He You're seems more powerful. a special interview with our father. Nothing you need to worry about. Kevin gets to fuck <laughs> 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 Uh-oh. Uh That's good, actually. Disgusting. Wouldn't want to engage in any zoophilia out here. Uh. Okay, right, so... As has been made abundantly clear, you are basically vampire supremacists. We Naturalist. are canite naturalists. That is by far the, the that's the always the argument, right? <laughs> Whenever you hear a political debate and somebody going on the extreme, like, so 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 you consider yourself to be superior to the rest of us? No, it's just the natural order of things. Ugh. And listen, I like you, <laughs> all of you. Fair's fair, you did kick our asses. They did. So, I want to extend the offer. Why don't you join us? Oh. Um, immortality is pretty tempting. It makes okay. sense since they are anarchists <laughs> that they would be. Come on. The proposing old man that. would never expect it. Not that he can't join as well. Wouldn't that be funny? I'm being serious. Immortality. Supremacy. A new family. 
What do you say? Nope. Are you in? Or are you out? Well... No, Marcus. It Don't do it. It is tempting. There's you know some zinch. more tempting, though? <laughs> Having everything we do from here on out being morally justified. Yes! Exactly! Liberate yourself, brother! Yes! We'll be doing it against a bunch of vampire fascists! Yes! The Sabata! Oh! If any of you have ever watched the series uh, Helsing Ultimate Bridge, that's like... Uh, I. I can't remember what episode it is, but like the the, the French uh, special forces that are hired to uh, to fight against Nazi vampires, like one starts uh, like insulting them and saying a, a bunch of crass stuff about them, and like at the end of the episode, the guy goes like, "I know those vampires do look kind of rapey." Holy shit, dude! Oh, who the fuck am I offending? The Nazis? <laughs> I, I just got flashback for that straight up. It's uh, it's really good. Okay. Fuck! It didn't work, Dorant! I'm so hungry. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey, you do know what happens if we don't eat our fill, right? Tell me. The beast shall come out now. Is that what you're calling yourself, Sideburns? The beast will come out. The beast will Oh, well, I shall need to crunch your neckies open and shit from them. Neckies? The beast's birthright is your blood, and it will have it for its will is mightier than any of the, the, the shitty metal boxes you put us in. Uh, hmm. So is this guy just like a parody of himself or uh, what? No. Hmm. What? Just got an idea. Hey, you will get fed. Just a second. What? This better be good. Everyone, let's get out of here. I'm going to um, feed them animals. Why? Come and see. Okay, all right. Come, boy. We stepping out from the cellar? Yes. Leaving these here? Yes. What if they break out? We will drink your hydrate as you sleep. <laughs> they will not. Are you fortified this room? Of course he has. This cellar door can withstand a force of 18,000 pounds per square inch. No blank will make its way out. Well, okay, well. yeah, I understand all of that and feel very safe now. Okay, let's go. Good. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't have like a distant cousin called Peter for Perturabo. Okay, what does he say here? Big D has many ex-wives and ex-husbands and ex chil Wait, hold, hold on. How, how do you... Ex-children. I guess the children of your ex-wives or husband, but... It still feels weird to say ex-children as in, like, you divorced them. Like, how do you get rid of a child act like you just threw him out? Listen here, little Timmy. I've got to say, the social services says that my excessive drinking isn't fit for parenting, so I have to let you go. Dora and Marcus are but two amongst many, but Dee's vocally affirmed favorite child is the horse named Horse. He did the John Oliver thing. Would I travel to Phoenix to fuck that horse? Well, it depends, doesn't it? How much a flight? Given that suffers self stabilization and influence. Boys was sick with puberty disease, attacking violently with big stones. Boy was later cured with meat, and now kidnapped the boy play Steph Mash together every Wednesday. Okay, goblin pie. That's an interesting snack. Oh, Halo, Xbox, and Crowbar. That's Half Life. Okay, he has to guess upcoming video games. Wow, the JoJo pose. Locked. Come upstairs, we're going to the office. Oh boy, it's so intense. There's I actually can't really tell. Rig, brother. Well, yeah. You spent a lot of money on this instead of, you know, a gun. TF2 is coming out next year. I am justified. Wait, so this actually takes place in 26? Yeah, t uh, yeah, Team Fortress 2 came out in 2007. Interesting. Wow. 27, that's that's a long time ago. 
That's a hell of a long time ago. Now, the quality isn't great, but we can see and hear everything going on down there. Okay, so here's my idea. Let's have them eat each other. No. Literally? Yes, That's literally. That's not a good we idea. Have no clue what happens if a vampire eats another vampire, and I want to find out. Uh, oh, here comes the moral stipulations. Look, feeding doesn't necessarily mean killing. I mean, we are stepping over boundaries just bringing them into our house. Or should I say my house? I own it. What, Wait. What, boundary set by the fucking Arcanum? Isn't the consumption of other vampire blood supposed to make a vampire stronger? Hmm. Really makes you think. Right? Like, th th does this whole thing... I, I can't remember what I was watching. Something about wh when vampires need to get, like, a blood transfusion. Oh, man, what series was that? Like, the consumption of the blood would empower them. Obviously, the whole thing of not eating turns them wild and, like, unlock the survival instinct and they go berserk. That would have been like the, the scenario that I imagined, but that would have been a bit too easy to go with, I guess. Yeah, that explains the wrestling title. I don't feel like following their tenants after being banned. You... Uh, you know what, let's take this later. We're just gonna start arguing about the royal family again, I can feel. No <laughs> talk of British royalty in front of boy. Boy, <laughs> sing our national anthem. America! Experiment now? Make them eat the LARPA first, he's the worst. <laughs> right, so... Micro- Good news! You're getting fit! Go buck wild! Are you fucking serious? It's the science! Besides, La Valeria wow. is willing to take one for the team. Don't go volunteering me for Black Bag Duty, degenerate! I can't really tell if this is... It's like a nice mixture of 2D and 3D. Like, you see the movement is sometimes a bit more fluid. This is well made. I, I, I didn't even comment yet on, like, the art of, of it all. Like, boy's expression. Like, all of this is good. Like, perhaps the art is not as well defined and as, uh, like, straightforward as it was in TTS. But this is very good. That's really good. Forget it. The Sabbat will never turn on their own just to slake their own hunger and speak it up. Oh, you fucking rat! Yoda, help me hold it down and... and <laughs> you shitty little... Me, no, I'm a key idiot. I would punch your blood out of your mouth. And here they go. This is a hardcore three-way elimination match where three vamps enter and only one may leave. That is right, Mark. We've got a hell of a show for you all, and we're right here in the action. We see some offers coming from the biker guy, but the speed of the LARPer. He's looking for his opening, and... First oh. blood! What a maneuver! Wow. Savage is right. And I love it! It's clear that there is some bad blood here. Look at how he's just <laughs> going to town on him! There is no town to go to, Marcus. Wait. But is this... Where's Piotr? A reversal! Whoa! He's biker, bro! He's got him in a chokehold! It's desperate times here for Larry. Will the sludge lad break the pin? Hey, is he still hiding? You can't see him. Could his time be now? That was a very funny reference, boy. Uh, thank you. Uh, say, do you think this is a solemn warning of what happens when one embraces their monster and loses their soul? Uh-oh. Uh no. Boys, what your He's gone invisible. Lapa Larry is retaliating and... Oh, he's doing it! He breaks the hold! Reverses it. Ooh, Impaler! No, it's DDT! It's an Impaler DDT! Nice. Oh, I hate I him. I believe the Larper went over. One, two, three. Marcus, I'm not sure that biker will ever ride again. Me neither, door. And... Look! In a shocking turn, the LARPA's calling Slime Boy out! Beauty, you tree sonus dog! And fish your death like a true Sabbat. You know, Abe, I always liked your spirit. Oh no. 
I bet it'll taste great. Slugman was invisible, man! Good lord in heaven! No, no. Uh, oh. This? You're right. We'll go slower. Jeez. The altar. Pewter is a true hey, savage. Shh, don't worry. I was just putting on a show. After all, we're family. You, you, you uh, mean it? How did they animate do this? Do I mean it? It's so creepy. Come on. What do you think? No. No, 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 no. Here comes the psychosis. If a little dot of light comes out of his eyes. That's... um... not really legal. Marcus, no. this is barbaric. You're right. Slime Lad is beating the LARP. Of course, Thor is enjoying all this. Thor, come on, man. What? Why the change in tone? Blank buddies aren't people. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but it's still... It doesn't matter. Oh, does it Whether make it better is, if you're... It's horrid. Didn't you say you wanted this one to die first? I... Isn't it a bit late to object <laughs> now? Hey, JR! Can't help but notice the crowd go mild. Am I good to collect my winnings now? Well? I guess for the experiment's sake. Don't let him. Go. Thank you kindly. Oh no, he's gonna kill you. Us. I. That uh, was a bad move. Yeah. That was you a are horrible move. Because the one dying seems so human. But I can assure you, he is no different from the creature eating him alive. All vampires are destined to become monsters. Each one's slave is who knows how many lives saved. That is why I do not hesitate to cheer and make sport of their death. And wow. Why you shouldn't either. Door, way to go I to promote know, the breaking of the Geneva it Conventions. Seems like it <laughs> might be more complicated than that. For vamps. Son, I learned many harsh lessons in my old mining days. This was one of them. But you are right, boy. They are also afraid because they are British. Oh, what? God. <laughs> boy, boy, national anthem. Next verse. You'll take my life, but I'll take yours, too. Let me get America. Ah, thanks, ape. Oh, no. He has you awakened. You were delicious. And now, a second helping. You know, Ape Boy, I actually thought about sparing him. I kind of liked him. But you, despite the Vinculum, old man, I never liked you. No! No! Guys? Call okay. your father now. So this was all horrifying. Oh, speaking hey of the devil. Kids, I got some rather tasty information out of that uh, Kevin guy. He told me the chapter house in Yarmouth. Ha, 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 Adam, what are you doing? Hello, father. We were engaging <laughs> in a marginally sadistic professional wrestling commentary. What the fuck is that vampire doing? Oh, yeah, we made them meet each other to see what had happened. You're letting them diablerize each other? Yeah, I mean... Diablerizing. You stupid boy! Letting vampires diablerize each other in our cellar? You're going to have them? Look out. Immediately break out. He broke out. The door. No. What? No. He broke through the door. I didn't even... <laughs> As I said, the distant cousin thing. Piotr Perturabo. <laughs> 
go ahead, keep on falsifying the dough. Humans are cringe, Pewter said. <laughs> Oh, is this the end? Oh god. Oh, that was good. <sighs> Some period nostalgia. I need to know the the voice of um of Dole. He will forever remain. Rogal Dawn, no matter what. This show is going to be so good for years to come. I hope that more people get on board, that, yeah, with the many uh, patrons, uh, that this show really get going, man. Uh, as always, highly, highly recommend to go and check out Alpha Boozer's channel. He is the one who got me familiarized, at least through his series of uh, TTS, the, if the Emperor had a sex to speech device, got me familiarized with the um, channel, uh, with Warhammer 40k, that is. And he has a bunch of other stuff as well. But please, do go and like this video, subscribe also to his channel, and thank him so much for allowing me to react to this. With that said though, I wish you all to have a wonderful day, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.